sort of area is because there's other schools that have done it first, right? right so we right. have examples. But let's see Dumbling King versus Carflow here. Wait a minute. This is like throwback. Yeah. Last time I commentated, these two, this exact match happened, and it was so, ridiculous. Yeah. So, <laughs> so explosive. I know this is going to be explosive. Carflow is the type of player to kind of, if you're playing like super heavy, he'll blow you up. But Dumpling King, these Ganon players always have like their awareness of what to do when is crazy. Oh, almost gets the F smash read there. Carflow air dodge in. Anyways, but the tech roll read in. Ganon heavy enough to live that though. I will say, last time Carflow and Dumpling King squared off, Carflow did take it, but in three games, and all three games were super close. Yeah. Um, so very interested to see how things shake out this time around. I mean, I think like as good as as good as Roy obviously does against Ganon. Ganon has really good tools. Notably, I think the things that you'll notice the most are like Nair and Dash Attack to just cover that space that Roy wants to play in. And, but this ledge trap is so hard for Ganon to deal with. Actually, a forwarder out of the corner. Catches God. Carflow lacking on the platform, and Dumpling King takes the first stock. That was a meaty forward air. It's a meaty forward air, yeah. Ganon forward air. It doesn't... It always hits a little harder than I expect, and I never yeah. know why. <laughs> oh, and Carflow... So Beautiful. I was I was going to say, I watched Carflow at a Fusion I commentated once uh, with Momo. Shout out to Momo. But, um, What's good, Momo? Carflow was playing against a, a Falcon player, and every time the Falcon player is off stage, Carflow was actually doing like the tech check. Yeah. And tech it's check, a great tool and if you do like the tech sure. check back air there with Roy, it's like so good. And it's one of the things that makes the matchup like more, like, even more oppressive than it would be, right? Yeah. yeah. One Landing more thing you have beam. to think about that, as opposed to just the constant pressure that exactly. you're gonna be facing from Roy. And then when you think you land like a solid, you know, command grab, and then oh, I'm gonna do some extra damage, nah. you're dead actually. Yeah, you yeah. actually die. <laughs> and you can die at like 80. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. like if you're a midway. I mean, Ganon obviously a little heavier, so. Maybe gets to live a little longer. Shield grab out of shield. Grab out of shield. Shield grab out of shield. <laughs> <laughs> well, English is hard, man. It is. It is. I agree. Yeah. Dumpling King's command of center stage right now. He he okay. Yeah, I feel like... He if had he, command of center stage. I feel like if Ganondorf moves just like three or four steps in either direction, he's just in total control of the stage. Ooh. And just throws the raw up smash. Dumpling King just knows when to hit those moves. Well, up smash, I mean... One of the best. Oh, oh great left from back air. <laughs> that was so fast too. Yeah. Ganon has one of the better up smashes in the game for sure. And I mean, especially if you if you do the reverse hit, it's actually decently safe. Try to catch Carflow running past with the side B there, but nothing. And look at the damage you have to take because of it. Could we see an edge guard here for Carflow? Goes for a back air, but not quite. But no tech from Dumpling King. Never punished though. Oh, this is just like. There it is. Wow, oh, Carflow. Oh. I think Carflow tried to do it, but I don't think I don't think we were in the window, or maybe he just had an execution flip. I'm not really sure. It, it looks like he just yeah. It looked like he kind of missed that one, unfortunately. Yeah, Carflow's shield also a little low. Definitely not quite full. This could be a, a kill here on this ledge trap from Dumpling King. Tried to get the up smash again. Oh, the wait. Oh, good call. And catches out. the jump with the back air. Carflow. I mean. There's a lot of players where like you do one two three, you try to bait the air dodge, they don't air dodge, like you you get a little flustered or like you'll move away a little bit. But Carflow holding the position and just throwing the back air in, really good stuff. Yeah, nicely done there by Carflow taking game one. Yeah, yeah, that was a perfect Ooh. execution by Carflow. Yeah, Roy back air looks like it hurts. It definitely does. Yeah. But I mean, so does Ganon. And as much as like Carflow wins the first game, it's one of those things where, again, like you said, last time these players played close games all around. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Dumpling King just walked in here, cleaned up a little bit of the movement, a little bit of the option selection, just taking the game. But Carflow already showing with 71, 84 that he's trying to end this 2-0 this time. Yeah, if I'm Dumpling King, I'm just trying my best to keep up with the pacing. It looks like Carflow is just in another gear right now. Yeah, well, something that's so cool about Carflow, and that side B already going to take it. Oof. Only 6% on Carflow. Nice whiz kicked into the corner, though. Something about Carflow that's so impressive is the fact that he obviously, like, he's known for, like, playing really fast. But his ability to play fast while also, like, keeping control of, like, his spacing at all times is... Yeah, I mean, he's and, winning these conversions yeah, and I mean, flawlessly every having, time. Having a foundation as a Krom player is also definitely, like, helpful for that. Very Goes cool. for the back air, but not quite. Nair one. Sour Nair still confirmed there, by the way. Oh, he is... Look at the way he's styling right now. And Dumpling can get no jump. And, and he still made it... 
I thought he, <laughs> I thought he SD'd. Absolutely He's not. just flowing right now. You kidding me? This guy, I mean. Well, one thing to mention also, like you were saying before, how sort of Tri-State or, you know, and, and New York City, just the- He's gonna go for Gunner. Oh, Dumpling King yeah. actually just decides to throw the towel in, and I mean, Dumpling can you even blame King. him at that point? Like, I don't. I, I mean, if anything, I just want dinner. Go go eat. Go go home. Go do something. No, well, he still has to play a little He's also more. playing losers. Yeah, but I Carflow mean, was just on another level. But I was just going to say, the depth of New York City and Carflow just kind of on the rise the past couple the past Whoa. year so really crushing it yeah um, that shows how deep our pockets are i mean carflow ranked again the season showing why for sure has i don't even know if he's like really missed top eight at a local like he's attended in the past like couple months and super impressive Great consistency all yeah, around. Yeah, super good stuff all around. You can see both of them smiling like, yeah. Damn. Like it's, that always, just, it's always fun when we play. <laughs> it's very much like, oh, like, well, that just happened. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. where do we go from here, yeah, essentially? Well, I can tell you where we're going. We're going to see Jen sitting out of the setup with the guy who, I mean. The Bowser still running through the bracket, huh? Yeah, but I mean, if we're talking about, you know how I mentioned earlier that, like, you play with.